G'day Rat Bags and welcome to another episode of Dirt Riders TV. Bag it up! If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the action. Today we're going to be changing out these brake pads. As you can see, they're fairly worn down, especially for 10,000 Ks, so they've done a good job. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Righto, so first things first, let's take this off the back. It's been on there for some time. Drop our chain off. Let's have a look. Okay. Brake pads. Both the same, pretty much. Easy peasy. That's how they go back in. Let's pop them out. I'm just gonna make sure I've got this piston all squeezed in nice and tight with this clamp. Before I pull it all apart. Okay, now I've squeezed this piston closed, so it'll be easier when we put the tie back on. Just got to pull out these two Allen pins, and then they'll fall out. Chuck two more in, slip the bolts back in. In order to crack these, I had to just slide this back on. I couldn't do it barehanded, but now she's done. Away we go. I'll end up giving these a bit of a clean up before I put them back in. And the old salt's got in everywhere. As we do, two brake pads. Well, there's not much braking left in them, that's for sure. 10,000 Ks, did all right. All right, so I cleaned them up. Let's slip one in here, ready to go. And the other one. Now we're just gonna make sure we don't get any crap on here. I had grease and oil all over my hands. You don't want that on your brake pads. And if you're a bit smarter than what I'm being, you'll actually take this out and put your pads in first. So let's try that again. Where the hell is it? There it is. Okay. One. Got to put a little bit of pressure because there's a little bit of a spring up in here. And two. Right. Split them apart, ready for the this to go in, put this back together, come on, nice, and we just wind those up, right, so here we go, basically we're just going to line this up into the brake caliber and get our bolts through, but you also got to get all this fit in nice and tight. <sighs> Nearly got it. Got a foot underneath. on washer 
then we can bowl it all back up. Right, you need to put it on the ground. You want 30 to 45 mil flex in your chain whilst on the side stand. And you do that by just adjusting the nut on the side here. Once you have it where you think you want it, for example, this one I've got set on three, and the other side I've got set on three. This is what I like to do. Little trick. Just to make sure you've got it nice and tight and square. And that is with a screwdriver. Pop it into the back of your chain. And roll it through. So if you put the screwdriver in and then spin that wheel, it actually pulls the axle tight better believe it. Nice and even now that I've got them both set on three and we can do up that wheel nut on the other side. And there we have it. Now you can take out that screwdriver and your tension should just be right. Still a little bit slack but I'm actually a heavy guy so once I do get a bit of weight on the back of that it will tighten up. One thing I've noticed is there's a lot of play in this pedal before that back wheel stops turning. For example still going and then it's grabbing so from here all the way to there it's not doing anything so I'm gonna have to crack this nut here and then I can spin the thread which will drop this bottom nut a little bit further and that's how you get your adjustment you put a spinner on here that allows you to twist the thread giving you more compression when you push the pedal so it should start to grab about here instead of way down there. Alright, so now as we turn it, I only pull it down just a bit and it starts to grab. Which gives me a lot more pressure to lock it up if I have to. I don't know if there's a special setting, I'm sure there is, but if I hit the brakes I want to hit them. Yeah, bag it up here! So there you go, rat bags. I hope that video was of use to you. And if it was, let us know in the comments what you thought. After that, check out the next video. But don't forget to get outside and play.